Falcon of Iron one shot. Now every comic fan and even non-comic book fans know that a lot of superheroes have white eyes when they're wearing their masks. But what magic makes their irises disappear? And even beyond that, what's the reasoning for characters like Batman, Green Lantern, Wolverine, and so on to want their eyes to go completely white, but only when they're wearing their masks? Well, I'm about to tell you a few different reasons. The number one reason would be there is no real reason. They're comic book characters and artistically they just look cooler with white eyes. So again, plain and simple, it makes some of our favorite heroes look more mysterious and threatening. However, with that said, like lots of things in the world of comic books, writers come up with their own reasonings to explain why things are a certain way. Let me give you a few examples. The most notable hero to have the no irises thing going on when suited up is probably Batman. He has this feature in pretty much every comic interpretation of him, minus a few like the Batman Earth 1 graphic novel. And then in other media like the Arkham games and the live action movies. In the comics, however, Batman and the rest of the Bat family members explain it by the fact that their cowls or domino masks contain special lenses that can identify suspects' identities as well as their weak points through medical records. It also acts as a way to prevent eye identification as well as keeping their eyes safe from debris. Wally West's white eyes was also briefly mentioned in the storyline Return of Barry Allen. Barry Allen comments on Wally's modified Flash costume saying, nice suit. To which Wally says, I'm about the costume, I can't explain. Barry then says, about what? Maybe the eyes will take some getting used to. Me, I think people trust you more when they can see your eyes. But you're an adult now, Wally, do things your way. So this little back and forth between Wally and Barry just implies that the characters in the comics know they have white eyes. And in this particular situation, it's just a costume choice. Wally West even says in Flash issue 133, those white Batman eyes were never really me anyway. Then you have other little instances like most of the Green Lanterns, such as Hal Jordan and Kyle Rayner, which have been explained as a way to help hide their secret identity. And then you have Deadpool who simply just said, I wouldn't look badass otherwise. Again, superheroes and comic book characters in general just artistically look cool with white eyes, hence this awesome image of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or the many drawings of Batman lurking in the shadows only seeing his silhouette and his glowing white eyes. But as I mentioned earlier, writers have given some reasonings to it as well. And that's not the only reasoning they give for costume choices or ways characters look. Take writer Frank Miller for example. He gave reasoning for the yellow bat oval logo on Batman's chest in the Dark Knight Returns storyline. After Batman gets shot in the comic, he says, Magnum round has to be. Chest plate holds. Why do you think I wear a target on my chest? Can't armor my head. So the shape serves as a target for Gunners as the chest area is the most reinforced part of his bat suit. And then you have the real reason for DC adding the yellow oval around the bat symbol, which was because they couldn't trademark the bat shape alone, so they had to add the yellow oval. And yes, I know none of that had anything to do with superheroes having white eyes, but I thought it was interesting nonetheless, so I wanted to share it with you guys before I ended this episode, which I'm gonna do right now.